Hello viewers and welcome to another Forza Motorsport 5 video then. So we saw the first one yesterday just looking at the demo circuit that's on display. We had no sound unfortunately and again on this version today we don't have any sound but we have the in-car cockpit cam action. So let's just take a look at that. So here we are then selecting one of the cars on display. Again the uh, player has chosen the Pagani Waira. And look at that detail as well. Wow that is some spectacular detail on the bodywork there you can see that they're talking about those imperfections in the paint making it just right and it gives it a real physical texture it's not just perfectly smooth it has that texture it's really nice to see them putting that all together now you can practically feel, feel it practically smell it getting into the car i always love the interiors on these cars and you just look at that spectacular amount of detail there fantastic it's amazing they've they've you know it is the future really i mean they've got a model of the future now no doubt as graphics improve you'll see better and better models in games but certainly here they're they're focusing a lot on the cars it seems in this version and making the cars absolutely perfect i always do find that cars tend to get more uh focus on them than the tracks do and uh, on a personal note i often prefer well modeled circuits because i'm actually in the car i'm not seeing it when i'm playing so much and if I'm time trialing, then there's no cars to look at, so you're just on your own. Um, Prague, of course, there it is, looking detailed again. Uh, we look forward to seeing how that develops in-game. Uh, we've also seen the announcement last night of the open wheel classes. Uh, well, the open wheel were actually announced uh, in the press release after the conference, but the, we saw the new uh, indie car revealed last night, one of several open wheel cars to come, and some classic Grand Prix cars on the way as well. That would be fantastic to see. Hopefully some of the old McLarens, perhaps one to coincide with uh, the James Hunt movie Rush coming out later this year. That'll be nice to see. And it, you know, it'd be nice to see how the physics, physics engine handles that as well. You know, all that power, all that torque and everything else. It's fantastic to see what they can do with some of these physics engines that they're going to be applying. As I understand it, this isn't the final physics engine for Forza. So, uh, away from the line then, and the first thing we notice is, of course, proper windscreen now. We've actually got glass with the interior reflected on the, the, the windscreen. I think one area of analysis for a lot of racing fans and Neo Gaff will no doubt look at it is how the light bounces off the dashboard and then bounces onto the windscreen and how that changes when you're in shadows and not in shadows. That's your element to look at on this one. I find that in shadows there's still quite a lot of reflection on the windscreen. Either way, I think it's a really nice effect. It gives you that cocooned effect in a car. That simply means we're going to get more road rage from people. So around that uh, long corner up the hill uh, through the trees. I like this section through the trees. There's a great feeling of speed through there. It's this chap here makes a mistake. Goes on the inside. Then we have that view. My vista. Again, I love the vistas. That's going to be clearly a, a, you know, a photo location. I'll react more on the rest of the Forza news once I know more. Obviously, the confirmation that there's no time of day change, official time of day change, and uh, weather conditions are not in the game, and a number of other features. So we need to find out exactly the ins and outs of all of that first. What they have planned, you might be able to select a time of day rather than having it dynamic. We'll just wait and see on that one. So uh, through the shadows of the streets. I like this section again I think if you were on the limit racing lots of cars this would be a great feeling of speed uh, running at 60 frames per second looks absolutely fantastic and again here going a bit wide this player doesn't know their way at the moment who can blame them it's first time playing probably on the wheel a lot of players aren't used to using the wheel I look forward to testing this wheel out really uh, you know getting in a lot of laps and giving you guys some feedback on it Dan was mentioning the power of the force feedback and it'd be interesting to see how they've applied it. I always find that where Forza's biggest weakness is in traction, uh, often you just don't get a feel for the pedals and being conveyed through the car of the traction. The car just seems to spin its wheels up and lose traction instantly and spin out uh, without a real warning of where the grip is when you have tyre temperature. So around these last couple of corners then on this uh, Forza demo, we will be trying to get some more Forza content for you guys in the coming days. And we've also got some Drive Club uh, gameplay action coming later today as well. So we finished that race. That's the end of that one. You can see the dirt there, a bit of damage and a, a cheer of joy there from the racer um, as we see it cross the line there. Just a last look at those details. But that's it from me for now. As ever, there'll be more from me very soon.